All right, fellas. Feeling fired up, feeling frisky. I just got done with a workout at Crunch Shitness, and that is just a horrible gym, guys. It's just the just freaking pencil neck energy. PNE, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's hand this to Mama. There you go. Let's freaking get out of this godforsaken land of string beans and pencil necks. <laughs> so anyways, let's talk about what my workout, we'll talk about Mama's workout. Listen, Mama doesn't really have the mindset yet. We're getting there, <laughs> but she doesn't have it. I'm just naturally strong, but I Jeez. don't have the mindset. Well, like, instantly comes to me, like, I'm not strong, I'm getting weaker. It's like, mommy, just hit a PR yesterday. What the freak tell you? I ain't getting weaker. Hey, but I was feeling it, too. I did a little decline bench, because I don't really decline anymore. And at uh, Crunch Shitness, they have a decline bench. Thing's pretty sturdy. You got terrible uh, hooks to, un, you know, freaking unrack the weight. You got to, it's, you know, it's, it's really low, and you bang into them when you're wrapping it up. But, uh. Yeah, I just wasn't feeling the groove, fellas, and that's gonna happen. You know, give me days like that. I sucked down four teaspoons, four servings of instant Folgers crystals. Had a nice scoop of pre-workout as well. Okay, so you think naturally I'd be pretty freaking buzzed, euphoric, you know, dopamine rush, feeling energized. But uh, I think me and Mom were both feeling a little sour tonight, or this morning, a little bicker with the Bickersons. Yep. Okay. A little landscaping going on, arguments about the bamboo plants and the ferns. And then I brought him a water bottle, and then instead of saying thank you, he's like, "I don't need that." Well, I'm always like... sassy, so Mama's just a little <laughs> on the edge lately. Yeah. Yeah, I can usually I'm handle a it. Sassy. Yeah, I think you just you're a little short-tempered lately. <laughs> and I'm just naturally short-tempered, so <laughs> we're just like freaking. Uh, what is it? Mixing. What is it? Mixing freaking rocket fuels and just explosions of tempers <laughs> so <laughs> it's been a it's been a stressful couple days right or is it just to this morning uh i would say like two days we've had like little arguments yeah you kept storming off last night. <laughs> <laughs> just very just, just run away from the <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to move the furniture and I scratched the floor because you weren't there to help me. <laughs> That's marriage. Right, I, know people are interested, I know people are what's, interested in marriage. Wait, what's your opinion on the Soviet weightlifting system by Hector Garcia? Oh, wow. I don't know. I've never really looked into Hector Garcia. Uh, I don't know, honestly. I'm, I'm kind of interested in all that stuff. I'll look into that. Soviet weight, is that a new training philosophy or is that like an actual old Soviet thing? Because I know a lot of times now people are coining stuff like it's ancient. I'm like, oh, this is a Soviet method created in 2023. You know what I'm saying? So it's, is this a new system or is this an old system? Is it the real deal, Vince Neil, or is it just a freaking facade? Has he got an answer? What is it, uh, Hector Garcia? That was his name. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, this is the Soviet He's saying the old system. Hector Garcia? No, Hector Garcia is saying it, and oh, he said okay. it's the old system. Okay. Like the original way they trained or whatever? Like, uh... Probably... Like high frequency stuff? Like the Soviet sweet. Union before the... Yeah, yeah. yeah I, know before. Like a, I know there's like a, a book called like Super Training by like some, I don't know, Vladimir or something. I've never read it though, but I should. I probably should start now that this is kind of my full time job. I feel like I should start reading up a tad bit on old freaking literature. You know what I mean? From the old and current, probably. Yeah, the older is always better. The antiquated is that the <laughs> okay. proper term? Everything now is just trying to reinvent the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's trying to be controversial because it gets views and stuff. What the frick are you doing, honey? It's a freaking. Do you guys see this temper? Yeah, well, the <laughs> arsehole. Wait, did you see how long they stopped at the freaking stop sign? Take a breath, honey. It's okay. I do forget to breathe, actually. <laughs> it's funny when people say, just breathe. Like, oh, shit, I'm not breathing. That's right. <laughs> uh, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. Listen, you see so much shit online now. 
like, oh, this is actually, you know, why I don't do this, ben why I don't bench press, why I don't do like just basic exercises. And it gets lots of clicks. It's like, holy buckets. Also, this people want to. This guy doesn't do curls for his biceps. What does he do? Or they get excited because maybe they don't like that exercise exactly. and they're like, oh, it's I shouldn't all, be yeah, doing I mean, it. It's so, it's so true. Just like stirring the pot is the new way. Look at this freaking. What is this? Honey, person? just try Good not to Lord. let it affect you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're feeling stable right now. See, normally I would be like this and I would be like, it's fine. Uh, like, that's damn, not that's true. Fine. It's annoying. And then that's not true. Ninety percent of the time, I don't get upset. But then I reach a point when you're being so negative that I feel negative too. Yeah, you need a yin and a yang in a re relationship to make a good relationship. <laughs> Seriously, if you have two stable people, then it's not going to work. <laughs> you, know, what, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's literally like relationships are built on total opposites. Christian Medina said Florida traffic is crazy. That is true. And I don't know if anyone who lives here has ever noticed that um, the stop set or stoplights take like 10 minutes. Yeah, sorry. Well, Red legit, lights take listen, like 10 minutes here. Not 10, but legit three minutes. I sometimes six. Yeah, sometimes three to six, which is insane. Because if you're ever running late somewhere, you're either going to gonna make it or you're gonna be freaking 15 minutes late which is all too common yeah uh yeah what were we talking about oh yeah of course controversial stir the pot get world-renowned recognition for training methodology of you know what i mean methodology um, methodology it <laughs> sounds like a I'm bad thing i'm losing my mind <laughs> I can't. Re I've been slurring words a lot lately. I've been jumbling. Them. The truth is, he's not getting enough sleep because of his sleep apnea. That's the and truth. I also just watched too many Netflix bullshit shows. Yeah. British Bake Off until. <laughs> then the thing is, you know, we're not kids. We can't sleep into whenever we want. So we gotta. I know she says I don't wake up with our daughter, but I still wake up from the commotion. He gets to stay in bed though. Yeah, well, because I have sleep apnea and I don't have good quality sleep. So. Brandon Vincent is saying you're not getting enough treats, which is kind of true because I think you're trying to cut right now a little bit. Yeah, so. I'm a little emaciated in all honesty. I mean, and I'm I think stripping fat, but it's just like, what's the point? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's almost. I don't know what the point is because I'm getting grumpier. I used to suck down fig bars, and I think I was getting sugar highs all throughout the day. And you Avi, get a little cranky, you eat a treat. Avi 47 says you need 100 cups of Folgers to improve the mood. That would I don't, change something. Yeah, I don't think that would end well. No, it would. It probably would make me in a better mood, and then I'd be like... J.A. says get a CPAP. Agreed. Well, I was on the process a year ago. I, I talked to the doctor just randomly. I said, listen, I don't sleep well. You know, they say that if you have over a 17-inch neck... I want to say it was 17... I saw some things. Like, if you have over a 17-inch neck, you're 100% probably have sleep apnea. And I'm like, doctor, that's what they say, 17-inch neck. I have a freaking horse 22-inch neck. I need a CPAP. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll get you a study. So he gave me the, the prescription sheet to go to some sleep clinic. I was hoping he was just going to give me some ring to put on or something that just monitors my heart or something. And then I come back, and he's like, yeah, you're, you're effed. You know what I mean? But I don't want to go to... Some freaking Orlando sleep study facility and like have to sleep there for a day. So I just said, you know what? I'm fine. Meow mate asked if you've ever had your thyroid checked. Actually, your thyroid levels are perfect, I yeah. think. Yeah, I know they're great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, Connor Wilson is saying, how sick is that Mach E though? We really like it. I know people really hate it on this car when we got it. <laughs> I yeah, have to take what? the blame because I wanted uh, an electric car because we don't really drive that much. And I said, much. God damn it, mama. Can't <laughs> we just drive a Honda Civic for $100 a month? She's like, no. Jay is saying, big. why are you going to a doctor? Horses go to vets. <laughs> yeah, the problem, do you think they have better treatment than a vet? <laughs> right? Do you think they have better treatment? Doctors, it's just you're in, you're out. You know what I mean? Like, they don't care, honestly. I've gone to my doctor before and I'm like, when I was pissing blood. Oh, yeah. When I was pissing blood. I went there. I brought, because this wasn't the first time it happened. And I was like, okay, I don't think they understand what's happening here. So I brought a cup of bloody piss and I said, look at this. this there's something wrong. And then the nurse or whatever was like, oh, that's pretty disgusting or whatever. 
<laughs> so then we tested my urine or whatever. And I think it was a really quick test, right? And they're like, oh. The doctor comes in, I swear to God. He's like, he looks at me, he's like, what do you say? He's like, you, you, squ you squat a lot? And I was like, yeah. He's like, hmm, he just blew a capillary in your private dick parts. or something. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> And I was like, yeah. I was like, wow, how'd you know? He's like, well, you look like a squat of horse or some shit like that. Like, He's wow. nice. Yeah, he just never seems to care. Yeah, he just seems so <laughs> right, I have to go disinterested in everything. So, um, anyways, how do I flip this sucker? Bye, everyone. I'm leaving. So, so disinterested. And I'm like, but I was relieved because I thought I had cancer or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hey, Eric, you know why Eric's pissed? Brother, let me tell you something. Now that she's out of the car, let me tell you something about relationships. You know, no matter what, you're you're in it. You know what I mean? So some days, you just, you freaking, you're the Bickersons, and it's like, holy buckets, this person just annoys the shit out of me. You know what I mean? And what can you do? So you just, you know, it's just freaking uh, gasoline on fire. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, but then somebody else is saying the CPAP and it very well could be the, uh, CPAP falls. I mean, maybe I'm just not sleeping well. <sighs> become younger. How did bro become younger? Oh, is that for me? Brother, how did I become younger? I shaved my freaking mustache. I stopped stuffing my face with treats. You know what I mean? I stopped stuffing my face with, you know, 1200 calories of fig bars. Um, eating chocolate chip cookies and then force feeding myself before going to bed. And it's like, well, voila, you know what I mean? I lost all this freaking weight in my face and I just, uh, shaved the mustache and that was like the finishing touches. And it's funny and cool as the mustache is, holy buckets does it make you look old. You know what I mean? Oh, brother. Someone's saying return to the raw onion. Fellas, I freaking, uh, maybe I should try out the raw onion, but I'm, uh, I'm back in the garlic kick. Okay. I'm really back. you know, sucking down garlic. I think I, I got away from it for a while because of my job. Obviously I didn't want to smell of shit and garlic. Now I don't care anymore. You know, especially now that I'm streaming in the garage, I don't just don't care anymore. Right. I could reek of garlic. Listen, I'll, the only people that have to suffer are my wife and daughter. And that's okay with me. Um, what else was I consuming? I just found, fellas, let me tell you something real fast. So you want some freaking golden tidbits or you want me just to talk? Let me tell you something real fast. Uh, you want some freaking, um, uh, uh, real fast. Avi47 is asking what's in the freaking fanny sack. Listen, fellas, the fanny sack is pretty freaking depressing. I'm not going to lie. I got, right, uh, you know, wallet, keys. It's depressing. And then my wife gets hemiplegic migraines from time to time where she almost freaking dies or strokes. And if she doesn't take this, oh shit, if she doesn't take this ubrevly or some ubrevly, she has to go to like the ER and get put on like morphine and shit. So it's an absolute nightmare. So I have to carry her medication around just in case. And what's hilarious about it all is some of the things that trigger are like heavy lifting, like heavy squats and stuff. I don't know exactly why, but like anytime she really maxes out hard, she has to suck down this medication. Otherwise she has to like go to the ER. So it's just like, what are we freaking doing? Like is a big bulbous deadlift worth like stroke, you know, brain aneurysm. You know what I mean? But in my book, yes, it is. So I just carry her medication just in case. Uh, but anyways, let me get some golden tidbits. Questions are flying here, fellas. I think freaking mama, did she miss one of these two? Listen, there's a, let me check something. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. Avi 47 with a hundred cups of Folgers to improve the mood. Listen, it's funny, but sometimes it's absolutely true. I got a lot of stuff I'm going to talk about here. I got to bang this all up for my wife and daughter to get back, especially if I want to talk, you know, you know what I'm saying? Talk about the freaking Bickersons bickering about the goddamn plants in the yard you know what i mean about the bamboo and how i should be more involved in the removal of the bamboo you know but listen it's like honey i lift weights and i talk to the boys on the chat i don't have time to chit chat to the freaking landscapers you know what i mean i gotta i gotta eat i gotta sleep i gotta lift you know you want money or not right now you want me to pay for these trees you want me to pay for these trees 
Let me freaking do me, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, J, yeah, going to the, going to the vet. Okay, anyways, the 100 cups of Folgers to improve the mood. Listen, it's all about freaking mind manipulation, chemical balances, serotonin, dopamine. Maybe sometimes you're just, you're just like, oh, shit, I'm just not feeling it. Let me suck down five cups of Folgers and boom, instantly better. And then from there, you know, once you crash, I think you'll still be okay. You know what I mean? You just got to get over the hump. It's really as simple as that. Um, what is this? Brick loader. Holy buckets. Advice for self-discipline and finding willpower to make true changes. Please, I'm struggling bad to tell myself no. Well, brother, I think that's, I think you just need to have, you need to give yourself big goals then to make real big changes. You know what I mean? Because if you have really nothing to, to work for or nothing to strive for, what's the point of changing in the first place? You know what I mean? Like a lot of the biggest changes, like say people are like hooked on drugs or something, painkillers or something, but then it's like either you freaking break the addiction or your family le leaves you and you lose everything. It's like, well, holy freaking buckets. I guess I better figure this out because that's like the end goal. It's like you want to stick together for your family. Then you have to you have to freaking break the bad habits, right? If it's like just going to the gym and you want to get stronger or something, you got to just sign up for like some sort of competition. You know what I mean? Local freaking powerlifting meet, local strongman bullshit anything like that or anything to hold you accountable or right? keep you obligated to doing something. Even if it's like just joining some sort of group or something, I don't want to say CrossFit. I've never done that horse crap, but, uh, at least that's like a group thing where you become a member of a community. You know what I mean? Or just like some sort of local, like powerlifting gym or something that you're involved in. That's going to help you really stick to something a lot more than just like, oh, I'm just going to go to crunch shitness today and hit back and biceps. Like, you know what I mean? Same thing with eating. you like, if you, <sighs> I had a goal in WWE to become a big bulbous freak. You know what I'm talking about? And unfortunately in today in days and day, today's day and age that just backfired basically. Cause nobody gives a shit about that anymore. Other than like, you know, people that like badass stuff, like big bulbous freaks. But, um, that's why I was so like driven to just obviously put mass on. And now that that, as soon as I lost that job, I was like, all right, I don't give a shit anymore. You know, what do I care? And I just started, um, just stop eating treats, stop eating fig bars. You know what I mean? Fasting. It's like, now my new goal is just to try to feel better for now. And it's like, well, how am I going to feel better? Well, I got to lose weight. So now I'm just kind of driven to just keep losing weight in that regard. And eventually I'll have a new goal and one thing or another. But it's just, you got to have a goal and you have a purpose for what you're doing. Otherwise, there's no point in doing it, right? And that's why I think I stayed so committed to like just training, lifting weights my whole life was because I always had something to train for. You know, I started lifting in, I started lifting in the first place because my brother would whoop my ass every day, right? So I was like, man, fuck this asshole. I want to whoop his ass. So I just like got the Arnold books and stuff and started doing pull-ups and curls and all that. And I got hooked on it. And then I started wrestling. And obviously it's like, man, I'm just, you know, I'm getting my ass whooped. And then obviously I keep training, try to get stronger for that. And then that was kind of my main driving force until I was done with college wrestling. And then uh, I didn't really have much purpose or goal which is why I kind of focused on powerlifting. Then I did a couple, like I did like a local thing. Um, then a few years later did like a meet or something and then lost total interest in that. And then my goal was like, Oh, let's just do this stupid, dumb, odd lifting bullshit because I don't know what else I'm even training for. So why don't I try to just like become a, a niche in the fitness community of doing these weird lifts. You know what I mean? And that was the thing. And then I got back and then I tried out for WWE and I got that. And then now it went back to conditioning and trying to have a chiseled physique. And eventually I was like, all right, being a chiseled physique is not really helping me. It's not getting me anywhere. What if I become a freaking bulbous mass freak? Right. And then here we are now. So, uh, I think it's just, you gotta, you gotta give yourself a goal. Otherwise you're never going to really stay committed. So I don't know exactly what you're talking about improving self-discipline for, but 
this is a lifting. All right, fellas, let me see real fast here. I got my daughter and wife's here, so I got to end this sucker real fast. Fig bars or dates for interest snack or fig bars or cookies. Definitely fig bars. The date paste or whatever the frick, the fig paste they use, much better. Cookies got the fat. They're going to slow the digestion, the absorption down. Okay, then we got here this sucker here. What's a good alternative to peanut butter, almond butter? Ba -ba -ba! I gotta do this. This is daddy's job now. She's like, you don't have a job. I do have a job. I have a job, baby. I gotta talk to the boys. <laughs> Here, mom, can you read me these questions as I drive home? Are you turning it? Yes, my goodness. All right, here you go. Read me. Those are the highlighted ones, Goosley. You got it? You know what I'm saying? You can't leave those ones. So. All right. All right, here we go. Let's, let's, let's get some. You ready? You strapped in? No. Okay. Fake bars or cookies right, for I interest? Just that oh, okay. It's obviously, fake bars. Cookies. What's a good fat. alternative to peanut butter? Like almond butter, sunflower butter, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, just some other sort of butter, basically. But, Nut butter, though, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, because otherwise, because the whole real, ah, frick, I can't talk. I'm tongue twisted. <laughs> This is like this is a good amount of protein and peanut butter, eight grams per serving. What are you doing? Good fats as well. <laughs> Man, I'm talking to the fellas. Okay? High calories. And possibly ladies. 200, probably three ladies in this chat, 758 dudes. <laughs> uh, Daddy, why are you doing it while I'm in the car? Because, babe, we were in the car anyways. We just got done with the gym and no, figured this is the best time to do this. It isn't. Okay, next question. <laughs> Did you like it? Like those or heart? Oh, I didn't do that. That's fine. Monty Handel or Handel says, thanks for doing what you do, Mr. Stick. Happy Monday and happy lifting. LFG. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching this. You know what I mean? Like, it's fun. Samson knows says we're Boog's employer now, which is true. Yeah, it is true. And mom is my assistant, and she's literally in the company. And I'm always getting she's in my trouble. Assistant. Oh, this is a hilarious story. Let me bring this up real fast, because this was another bicker argument that we had. I asked mama, I'm like, are we a single entity LLC or a double or whatever? And she's like, I think you double. And I'm like, I don't think so. I think we're a single because it's a lot more complex. I'm like, she's like, so I'm not on it? I'm like, no, you're like my employee. You, you're my assistant. She's like, great. So I should just get a different job. I was like, why? It's like, because you can just fire me and then we're done. I'm like, why would I fire you? I'm going to fire you and just, babe. I'm in the car. My goodness, Chloe. I don't know what's happening, but I can't see anyone's new chats. No, that's fine. Did you get all the, the colored ones or whatever? Yeah. Okay, so those are all the supers. Everyone's questions are important, but if you didn't pay for the thing, then we can always hold it till next time because we're going to chat next time we're in here. So you can end the sucker now because Chloe is really getting upset. All right. Hey, Bye, everyone. I don't even know how to end it. There's an X. You're oh, not you just X it. out of it? Yeah. Bye.